Hello everyone and welcome back to Cooking with Suzanne. I hope everyone is doing well. Today we're moving on to the letter G and I'm using one of my most favorite ingredients, garlic. We're going to make an, a wonderful first course that we used to do at the restaurant, Suzanne Fine Regional Cuisine, and it's making a wonderful butter sauce to go with shrimp. So we're going to get started right away in making our sauce. What I have here is eight ounces of unsalted butter, and I'm just going to heat up my pan, which I have on low here, and add a couple of pieces, not all of this butter. We're just gonna add a couple of pieces so that we can get started in sauteing two tablespoons of shallots which is another wonderful ingredient that we grew at the restaurant and it grew beautifully. Uh, shallots are just nice and sweet and very flavorful, complements the garlic very nicely. So this is one large garlic, which is, I mean, I'm sorry, one large shallot, which is about two tablespoons. So I'm going to get the butter melted and then we'll add the shallots to start to cook them, I would say about two to three minutes. We just want to get it translucent before we go ahead and add our garlic. So the butter is melted. The butter is melted, so I'm going to add the shallots. And we just want to start to cook the shallots. I'm just sauteing the shallots, as you can see there. And we just want to get them softened and start to cook a little bit before we go ahead and add our garlic. Now I finally chopped the garlic. I have a quarter of a cup's worth of garlic here, which is quite a bit. We're going to add some Pernod, which is an anise flavor. And if you can't obtain Pernod, you can also, anything that has a liqueur that has a very nice anise flavor, ouzo, pastis, uh, Sambuca also has a really nice flavor too. I have two tablespoons of Pernod that I will be adding to this dish, which once it's cooked, it, it does still have the anise, but it's much more, it's sweeter and it's just delicious. Let me go ahead and add the garlic to my saute pan. And here's where we want to really cook the garlic for a couple of minutes, I would say about three minutes or so. There we go. And once that cooks for about two to three minutes, we're going to go ahead and add the uh, wonderful Pernod where we need to cook this off. We have to cook off the alcohol here. You can take it off the heat if you prefer. Put the alcohol in. And then you don't have to worry about it flaring up. But if you want it to flare it up, you just lean it, and there we go. And that will definitely get rid of all of the alcohol and just keep the beautiful, sweet flavor. Okay, that's done. And now what we would like to do is add the remainder of the butter. This is a butter sauce. So we will go ahead now. The flame has subsided, the alcohol is gone, and now we can go ahead and put in the rest of our butter. So I told you this was eight ounces of butter, unsalted butter. The last ingredient for our sauce is freshly squeezed lemon juice. I would start with about a tablespoon. You can always add more, but start with a tablespoon and we do want to finish it off with a little bit of kosher salt. It really looks gorgeous. So now we can go ahead and we can lower the heat a little bit and just let that cook and let all the flavors of the garlic and the shallot come into the butter. And in the meantime, we'll talk about the other ingredients that goes with the dish. We have some beautiful lemon segments uh, that I will show you how I did that. Beautiful cherry tomatoes, which I quartered. You can just get a small basket of cherry tomatoes. We're going to add a few capers to the dish and some fresh chopped parsley. And let me just show you very quickly. 
I cut off one end of the lemon, and I believe I had already showed you in another segment when we did the scallops, but I'll just go over it very quickly with you one more time. Just cut off the ends, and then go around and take all the pith and the peel off. Then you just go in and remove your lemons. You can see that there. So that's what we have that's going into our dish. And it's definitely done. So I'm going to shut this off. And to it, I'm going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice. And Bob, if you can grab the shrimp and come on in and talk about a delicious wine that would go with this dish. By all means, the, the shrimp, shrimp is in are the fridge. in the fridge. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. You just add a little bit of kosher salt here. I'm going to start with about a quarter of a teaspoon. And I did put in a tablespoon of lemon juice. So now I can taste it and see if it needs any more acidity or to be seasoned with additional salt. Uh, it's perfect. Okay. Let me just grab this dish here and I'll show it to you. Here we go. Look at that beautiful butter. And the anise flavor is delightful. It takes on a nice sweetness to it. Okay, there's our sauce. And while Bob is talking about wine, I will start assembling. I have some gratin dishes, uh -huh. and of course you can do this family style and just do it in a large gratin dish. I'm going to use individual ones and serve it individually. So I will start assembling while you talk about some wine. Right, so I was saying I was grabbing a stool, which I did, right? And because I don't want my, want my head to be cut off, in the last couple of videos, I think it's, it's, you know, it's made for her, but it's not made for me, which is fine, because she's the, she's the real deal. And the money maker, <laughs> right? Uh, speaking about my head being chopped off, you'll notice I do get a haircut if you've been following the last couple of videos. I was talking about the mop, and uh, so I'm all trimmed and everything, did it myself. Um, and as uh, Tyler would say, I got a mall cut. Not just a haircut, I got a mall cut. Get it? Um, so two ways to go. <laughs> that's, a, so, that's, a, that's a joke, that's a... Yeah, that's I just a, want to show you, I'm putting in about four uh, large shrimp here. These aren't, I, I, at the restaurant we used to use U15s, which means there's 15 to a pound. These are about uh, 21 to 26, so they're a little bit smaller, just so you know. Okay. So, uh, one of two ways to go, which is kind of the, I think, my uh, staple. Two ways to go in a wine pairing. To complement the flavors or to contrast the flavors. And here, I think you could do both. Uh, so, if you wanted to complement the flavors, obviously there's, there's butter, there's garlic, and there's the sweetness of the, uh, the natural sweetness of the shrimp. So, I think it... Um, uh, begs for a Chardonnay, right? Chardonnay goes with lobster, goes with that inherent sweetness in, in shellfish. Uh, and also, so, but I would pick a, a Chardonnay because they're, they're across the gamut, right? Of heavily oaked to, to unoaked and every place in between. So I think I would choose an unoaked to a moderately oaked tops Chardonnay and one that is, uh, has some, some buttery accents to it. And uh, you can sort of look that up. Uh, it's a term that's used frequently with Chardonnays. Uh, the other way I would go if I wanted to contrast it is to go with a, a sharp, vibrant wine uh, that does indeed contrast the buttery nature of the dish. And so I would choose, one of the wines I used a lot at the restaurant was a Gruner Veltliner, which is the most popular wine in Austria and similarly very nicely grown and produced in the Finger Lakes. So the uh, Gruner Veltliner is sharp, it's uh, vibrant, and it would contrast very nicely with this dish. Okay, so I just want to continue showing you. I have some cherry tomato quarters here and some lemon segments in through here. I just have them kind of dispersed all the way through. 
and now I will just top it. Every time I make a dish, Bob will say, "Hun, this is really good, but don't you think a few capers might taste good here? You say that. You say that a lot. I do say that. So I have decided to throw in a few capers, and I do think it will taste very, very nice here. And only, I only say that because mm -hmm. it's true. Yeah. Right? Anything with capers. Yeah. Anything. If you want to jazz up a dish, capers. Right. Yeah. And it really does add a, 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 a really strong flavor into, uh, into the dish. Okay, so here's our butter sauce. So they, these are completely ready. The only thing is when they come out, we will top it with some parsley. But now you want to put your sauce right over the top and then it's going straight into the oven. And you can be generous with the sauce because we're going to take some wonderful bread and serve some nice crusty bread to go with this dish. Make sure you get plenty of the garlic. And you know what, before I forget, because I did forget and I don't want to forget, I want to put a few chili flakes in here. And Suzanne puts chili flakes in a lot of dishes. Into milk. But not to the point that it's overwhelming. Just just a perfect. little yeah. Okay. So now we have our chili flakes here, which I almost forgot about. Okay. Here we go. A little bit more. Make sure you have plenty of garlic in there. And the garlic is nice and sweet and flavorful. Okay, and these are ready to go in the oven. I'm, I set my oven at 400 degrees. We'll check these in about four minutes, and we'll be right back. These right out of the oven now. And these at 400 degrees took about six and a half minutes. Just going to pull out the bread as well. I have some nice ciabatta, or if you have French baguette, that would be great. Okay, so you can see these still have a little bit, they're a little bit tender, and it smells wonderful. Now you can just put a little bit of parsley over the top. As I always say, this is not for garnish, it really is for flavor. So don't miss out on the nice flavor of parsley. This, if you want to double it, if you want to double this up, it'll make a perfect entree portion mm -hmm. or a lovely appetizer portion, which we have right here. And I will just finish it off with some nice crusty bread. Our course, our first course, which happens to be our luncheon course today. Mm -hmm. This is our lunch for today. There you have it. I hope you will try this out. It's absolutely delicious. Take care, everyone. See you again soon.